Good morning, everyone. This is Tim, and I hope you're doing well. Uh, early morning in Vegas. Uh, it's, it's about 8 o'clock, 9 o'clock. Uh, so by Vegas standard, it is early. Thank you so much for joining as I get ready, and I'm just getting ready to head out over to the Palms Casino because they are offering an epic buffet full of lobsters, whole main lobsters, lobster tails, and I'm just packing up to get ready to head out. And I've been meaning to go to this buffet for the longest time. Unfortunately, uh, they only offer this on the Wednesday. And uh, when I go to Vegas with a busy work schedule, I tend to come on the weekend. So having the uh, lobster buffet on the Wednesday uh, was a bit tough to squeeze a long trip in. But uh, luckily, I think they are now offering this on the Wednesday and the Thursday. But I heard the lineup for the buffet is long, where wait times can be as long as many hours. And the reason I'm getting ready to go out so early is because the Palms Casino is offering a pre-purchase program. So you can get your tickets. Uh, and then uh, you're all set for the buffet. But there is a catch because there is a lineup for the pre-purchase as well. They start selling their tickets at noon and then uh, a few people mentioned you should probably get there around 10, 9.30. Um, so a little bit of a wait or a lot of a, a wait. So uh, again, I'm just getting ready. And by the way, I am at the Horseshoe Casino uh, on the Strip. This is the Old Bally's and the rooms are huge. Very spacious, very affordable. The room is about $20 midweek, but the resort fee is another $40. But uh, all in all, a very good deal. And especially since the Horseshoe is right in the middle of the Strip, it's very convenient as well. So really grateful for that and really grateful that we can connect and uh, go on these food and travel adventures. It is a nice break and a respite from the day-to-day -day stresses of uh, work and home. Uh, and recently on top of you know the daily stresses of work and home I've been going through a situation where a neighbor has started a fire that affected myself and uh, unfortunately dealing with the insurance company and the contractors are quite a significant issue with the contractor stalling and the insurance company delaying it is all a bit overwhelming but I'm getting through it thanks to the help of this great community and also thanks to the help of the great people at BetterHelp who is a sponsor of today's video BetterHelp will assess your needs and match you up with a professional licensed therapist. This is not a crisis line. This is not a self-help. This is one-on-one -on -one with an experienced therapist, an accredited psychologist, or a trained counselor done online remotely. And for me, through my assessment and my preferences, I've been matched up and have been working with Sandra. And because BetterHelp is available worldwide, that means I can connect anywhere and I can schedule my weekly calls with her over the phone or over video calls. So no more having to visit uncomfortable offices or waiting rooms. And with a broad range of expertise provided by BetterHelp's worldwide network of professionals, you may be able to find services and expertise in fields that may not be available in your region. So irregardless if it's clinical mental health issues like anxiety and depression, or if you're just going through a tough patch, or if you're looking for skills and techniques for better communication, relationship, confidence, and self-improvement, there always is a professional expert available. And the nice thing about BetterHelp is that the sessions are much more affordable than traditional therapy sessions. And BetterHelp certainly does want to make this service accessible for those who need it. So join the over 1 million of us today who has been using their services by visiting betterhelp.com slash Tim Lee. That's betterhelp, H-E-L-P dot com slash Tim Lee to save 10% off your first month. And with that, I think uh, it is time we better go because I think the lineup is growing for the prepayment for the buffet. I can't believe I'm saying this, but uh, come on, let's have a nice buffet together. But before that, let's stand in line together. Come on. Let's go. So we have arrived at the Palms Casino and truth be told, I've been here for a couple of hours because uh, I just couldn't uh, have you wait in line with me. It was quite an ordeal. Uh, so the buffet is a busy one, uh, especially on the Wednesday and Thursday where they have the lobster buffet. This is a Wednesday and apparently they start selling the tickets, the prepay tickets uh, at noon, but people stand in line since nine o'clock. I've been here till uh, since 10 and it was a two hour lineup to get the tickets. But in that two hours, you get to meet lots of great people, lots of new friends, really great crowd. So uh, I think uh, you just got to take the lineup as part of the buffet experience, especially for a lobster buffet. So now I've got my ticket and here it is, but not long after I hear Morgan saying those dreaded words that people in line hated to hear. Uh, 
they're all sold out of the prepay. So a lot of people now are standing in line for the walk-in and that line stretches all the way into the theater. I got a chance to take a look uh, at the end of the line and I still couldn't find it. But uh, luckily we've got the new friends here that's holding my spot in line and it's almost two o'clock. So four hours later, I think we'll have dinner. Come on, let's go. Hey Mo, hey Victoria. Hey, thank you so much for holding the spot. Yeah, so four hours later and I think we're ready for dinner. All right, so thank you for joining and I think uh, we are gonna go. They are just getting ready. Almost ready, here we go. Hi Maria, how are you? Oh, this is great. So Maria, after four hours, we finally get a table? Right. Oh, oh look at this, all the buckets. Yes, it's all set up, ready for you guys, oh. especially for you. Really great to have a table here. And uh, Maria has already brought some of the drinks here. And that's because before sitting down, I got a chance to pour the buffet from the sweet section, a mountain of cannolis, to the wonderful brisket, and then to the line for the seafood yet another line and really great to see everyone showing off their great dishes with lobster drenched in butter and in the Asian section more lobster but one section that is not busy the vegan section so uh, I think I'm gonna enjoy this glass of wine and after a four-hour wait uh, it's uh, much needed what would Danny the medic say cheers mm. very nice so let me just show you how the lineup is right now. It's still really busy. And normally I would wait until the line dies down, but I don't think it's gonna die down because we've seen so many people in line. So I think uh, we just have to uh, stand in yet another line and go for the buffet, some meats and lobster. Come on, let's go. Okay. So it is kind of nice, it is dying down, but look at this. This is the line for the lobster and that fire over there is the line for the roastery and all the people over there for more seafood. So I think I'm gonna start on this side over here. Hey Roy, how's it going? Okay. Is this round two? Round two. All right, so really nice people that you meet here and then we'll grab a plate. All right, so this is looking pretty good. The brisket looks good, doesn't it? Is it? So normally I beeline it to the uh, lobster, but that brisket is looking so good. I think I'm gonna get a little bit of cornbread. All right, this can soak up the sauce. But I think I'm going to skip the yams and the baked beans. Thanks to Mo, I think I got to go for the brisket. Hey, Alvin. Hi. Hi. Can I get some of that uh, brisket? And yes, if sir. I can get a fatty cut, that would be great. Yes, sir. Oh, thank you. All right, and let's see what we have here. Oh, all right, some mushrooms. Oh, a little bit of mushrooms, maybe. Right here. And what is it? Four. Oh, for tacos. Okay, maybe later. So they have tacos, but uh, I think I'm going to skip that in case it gets too filling. And this is the taco fixings. Maybe a little bit of barbecue sauce for the brisket. And look at that fatty cut here. And with that, I think we're ready to stand in line for the seafood. What are you cooking? Got some uh, pasta alfredo right here. Oh. So you can have lobster pasta alfredo. Oh, oh, awesome. Thank you, sir. All right. All right. Will do. All right. You too. So really great suggestions here. Thank you. So uh, apparently I think you can make your own pasta alfredo with lobster. But while we wait for the lobster, you get to peruse pasta station with the pizza. And I think we have a little bit of pepperoni. A little bit of cheese pizza. And I think I'm going to try one of these shrimp pizzas. Nice and thin. Right over here. Some garlic bread, stromboli. But as good as it looks, I think I'm going to save room for the lobster. My turn coming up. Hi there. Oh my goodness. Can I get a lobster tail? Drenched in butter. Thank you so much. You're very kind. Thank you. All right, really kind of them. And uh, let's see what else we have. Some salmon, some shrimp, and I can't say no to some creamy ravioli. And hopefully they're loaded with seafood, maybe just one or two. Right over here, next to the pizza. That was a quick first round. And with the brisket and the lobster, I didn't want to wait too long. 
And uh, normally I'd go for the salad station, but I just skipped it this time. But I probably made a mistake there because watching uh, what they have, the crab and the shrimp, uh, I'm definitely going to go back. And uh, you might notice something more on the table. This is some drawn butter and even better is spicy drawn butter and a little bit of corn chowder. So as good as a lobster looks, I think I'm going to dig into the brisket first before it gets too cold because it's nice and fatty. So they don't have any steak knives. This is a butter knife, which is okay because it cuts like butter. Let's see. And it just pulls apart. Really nice. Give it a try. Mo was right. Really tender, really succulent with a wonderful smoke ring and uh, juicy, fatty goodness. Mm. Nice and tender. Let me try the pizza next. A nice thin crust and I can feel it's pretty crispy. And I think this is a two-handed slice. Here's. You know you shouldn't get ready stuff, but the pizza is good. Wonderful fresh shrimp and the cheese is nice and aged and the crispy crust. Let's check the undercarriage. Very nice and crispy. Oh, That's a good pizza. But we can't hold off on the lobster. Let's give that a try. They have whole lobsters as well, and I think I'm just going to start with a lobster tail because you can continue to go back for more and more and more. A little bit of lobster, a little bit of drawn butter, or a lot. Mm -hmm. That is very good. Lobster is perfectly cooked, nice and springy, meaty and buttery as well. But. I think we gotta try lobster and drawn spicy butter and a nice bath. All submerged. Oh. Go for the spicy drawn butter. So much more flavor. Really good. And I think I'm gonna finish this off and uh, I'll take it back for um, more lobster and maybe even the salad station. So. A little bit of wine, a little bit of Dr. Pepper, but I think this is called Pip. But wine for now. Cheers. That first round went by pretty quickly. The ravioli was pretty good. Not seafood filling. I think that's a meat filling. And that cornbread was something else. I know I shouldn't take bread, but that was so delicious and crumbly with a caramelly top. And what would make cornbread even better Cornbread in corn chowder, corn and more corn. And I must say that seafood corn chowder, wonderfully spicy, very good. So I think with this, uh, I think let's go for round two. Lots more to choose from. Come on, let's go. So good to see the line is dying down, but not by much. And let's see, I think we'll visit the carvery over there. I think we're gonna go for some meats and also some seafood. Let's see what we have. So more veggies and more corn, esquite, and a green bean casserole. Oh, and I see what's coming up next. We have horseradish and sour cream. And where you see horseradish and sour cream, we have the roast. Let's see. Thank you. Hi, Rosa. Hi, can I get a nice uh, fatty cut if you have one? Oh. Thank you so much. And can I get a crispy uh, lechon skin? Oh. Thank you. All right, and now we just double back for the horseradish. This is a creamy horseradish here. And we've got some chimichurri, some uh, vinegar for the lechon, but I think I'm gonna go for a little bit of the grainy mustard to cut the richness of the crispy skin or to add to it. Let's see what else we have here. Ooh. So this isn't just any mashed potatoes. These are brown butter mashed potatoes. This is like all butter and a little bit of potatoes right over here. It's almost like a sauce, like a hollandaise with potato. And let's see, mac and cheese. 
and normally I would refrain because there's so much lobster and meats, but I can't say no to the good fried chicken. Here's one here, hopefully a small one. And uh, I think they're all big. Next to the mashed potatoes. Oh, and let's see, this is the Asian station. We have some spicy tuna poke. That's looking pretty good. A little bit here and a little bit more. I did pass by the salad station, so I get some greens. An interesting way to get your veggies. And let's see. Oh, look at this. So they're doing the lobsters here as well. Can I get two of these? Yeah. Thank you so much. A little bit of lemon for a little bit of tang. I think I got to go back and finish this wonderful plate. Just had to rush round two a little bit because of the meats and the fried chicken. And I think I might have overdid it with the lobsters. Two whole lobsters, two lobster tail. And I think I need to start off with the roast beef and the chicken and the lechon. Just a little bit of rearranging. Let's see. All right. And let's give this a try. So a little bit of jalapeno for some spiciness. But I think I'm going to set that aside. And uh, this is not prime rib, but this is roast beef. And uh, I am pretty surprised because this is cutting with a butter knife, a little bit of fat. And believe me, this is looking pretty tender or feeling pretty tender. Wow. This isn't prime rib. This is roast beef but it's even tender, more tender than some of the prime rib I've had at other buffets. Nice and juicy and pink and surprisingly tender in a good way. A little bit of sauce or au jus. Mm. It's still incredible how soft and tender the roast beef is. Very good. And to contrast, the tender softness. Let's go for the crispy crunchiness of the lechon. And Rosa was so nice for a luscious big piece. Only one will do. That is an assertive crunch. Crispy and crunchy. And the meat is nice and tender on the inside. Lots of striations and a little bit of creamy mustard. Doesn't lighten it up, it makes it more rich, not too bad. And very messy. But I think I gotta dig into the fried chicken. Give this a try. Mm. A little bit of crunch, but not as crispy and crunchy as the lechon. But in reality, nothing is as crispy as the lechon. Pretty good fried chicken. Well seasoned, moist, light batter. And I think a little bit of the mashed potatoes would go well with the roast beef. And again, a nice fatty piece here. A lot of potatoes, almost a sauce. The perfect bite. So good. But I think it's time for the lobster and this will get messy. A little bit of switcheroo. And this is a ginormous plate. Okay, I forgot I got a bit of the poke as well. Well, let's try the uh, whole lobster. And they were nice enough to provide a couple of crackers here. Okay, give it a twist. Oh, give it a crack. And we have a whole lobster tail. And I think this would go good with a spicy butter. Head first or tail first and tail some more. I don't really know what I'm saying. Please forgive. Just a little bit lost for words. Cheers. Mm. Not bad. 
nice buttery lobster. I think this one might have been in the water for just a bit too long, but that's okay. You can go for more and just a little bit of butter to add some more richness. Mm. Very nice. So I think I'm gonna go finish up this round, try some of the other food here. Uh, I think there's a vegan section that uh, wasn't too busy and uh, I wonder why, but uh, we'll try to visit some of the uh, pasta station over there and uh, we'll take it back. Oh, cheers again. All right, round two was quite the carnage in the best possible way. Really nice lobsters and a little bit of utensils are needed for the claws. And I'm happy to say the second lobster cooked much better. So it really is the luck of the draw. And I just couldn't resist those mashed potatoes with the lobster. Again, a perfect bite. And for the lobster tails, well, here it is. I've taken them out because I remember over back at the M Resort, that wonderful uh, Anthony Steakhouse brunch buffet. I think it's the best in Vegas. Uh, Thomas was nice enough to uh, cook up a, a, a omelet with lobster and crab for me. And I think the gentleman over there who's looking after the pasta station is willing to, willing to do the same. I can't even speak. So let's go give him a visit with the plate of lobsters. So this is a plate of lobster and that is a pasta station. Right. Hi, chef. Very good. Well, can I go for some... Uh... I'm going to get one from over there and I'm going to chop it back here. Oh, okay. I'm going to make it for you. All, All right. right. All right. Suck with two more lobsters. I can think of worse problems to have, but let's see. Oh, thank you, Chef Cruz. Thank you, Jesus. Really nice. You too. So again, always a lot of good folks here. And this is the Palms Lobster Alfredo. And let's see what else we have. And I did not check out the salad station, but I think we should. And I think we will skip this section. And it's interesting because the salad station is almost as lonely as the vegan station. So we have some fruits a little bit of toppings, and then we have a little bit of greens, which I used for the garnish. And then, oh, look at this. This is actually quite nice. A nice, refreshing wedge salad. And this salad station does get quite good with the salads of veggies and potatoes, just a little bit. And then, of course, the seafood, the giant shrimp, and the crab legs. So that was a quick tour, and let's see. I think I missed a couple of the uh, dishes at the Asian station. So we start off with a little bit of Filipino flair, a little bit of veggie pan seat, and uh, let's see, a little bit here. Some giant chicken wings and some fried rice. And those are the lobster over here and the ginormous amount of crab. But I think I'm all seafood out because we still have that lobster uh, Alfredo and uh, an extra plate of lobster and let's see what's under the bamboo cloche. Okay, so some steamed dumplings. But I think I'm going to visit the uh, vegetarian vegan station because some of the dishes do look pretty good. So this is bagogi but not beef bagogi. This is jackfruit bagogi. Fun to say and hard to say. And this is crab cakes vegan style. I'm going to give that a try. So really nice to see that they have an assortment of foods for vegans and vegetarians. From the spicy tofu to the chop suey to all those wonderful spreads. And I think this is the end of the line and I would get more, but the plate is getting full and I have to go back to the lobster Alfredo. Okay, round three brings us another issue to deal with and that is what to do with the additional lobster from Chef Cruz. So he did this amazing palms Alfredo uh, shrimp and lobster and I can't wait to give this a try. So I think we need a fork and a spoon and we'll stop it with some shrimp and lobster and Chef Cruz and Chef Jose were really generous with the lobster. It's more seafood than pasta. Mm. Oh.
when you're at the palms, I know people stay away from the starches, but when you're here, go to Chef Cruz or go to Chef Jose, ask for the palms Alfredo. Just ask for a little bit of pasta because this is so good. Wonderful creamy Alfredo sauce, sweetness of the shrimp, meatiness of the lobster, and a little bit of uh, pimentos and spinach to lighten everything up. And that cheese is nicely aged and a wonderful flavor, nice and sharp. This is, I guess, one of the palm specialty. Cheers. Mm. That is nice. And as luscious as, as that is, I think I'm gonna try the vegan crab cakes to uh, add a bit of crunch and texture. Mm. Nice and crispy, but I'm not sure if it resembles a crab cake in texture or flavor, but a delicious bite, just not a crab cake. But I think a little bit of Alfredo sauce would make it even better. And we'll give it a little bit of a schmear. Mm. Much better. And I think I know what to do with the pan seat because we're gonna add a little bit of the leftover lobster. And leftover lobster is something I have never heard the words used together. Mm. Very nice. So I think I'm gonna finish up the pasta, leftover lobster, and the wedge salad. And I think we'll uh, take you back for all that wonderful dessert. Cheers. So after a couple of rounds, I think it's time for dessert. And you might have noticed I'm wearing something new. Really kind of Mo Ying uh, to come over to the table. I think she knew what type of eater I am. That's a messy one. And she gave me some uh, wonderful packets here. And uh, they come in good use. And I think it's time for dessert. And I think I'm just going to go for a little bit. But the dessert section is looking pretty good and pretty busy. And as much as I would love to try everything, I don't know what uh, Chef Cruz and uh, Chef Jesus did. Uh, that plate of pasta had more lobster than the uh, four lobsters I've had together. So really kind of them. And I think this is the entrance here. And I guess starting off, we have the cold and the hot in the form of cold soft serve and some warm apple crumble and peach cobbler. And that is just too filling for me. A look at this. Hey, Danny, how are you? Good fun. Oh man, can I? California junk food from here to Main Course. Oh, all right. Uh, what would you suggest? Oh, you have some. Like I'm banana. not a big fan of banana, but the ube looks good. There's so much for Oh, thank you. A little bit of the banana. Just so you can see, I'm right. All right. Change but, your mind about banana. Thank you, Danny. All right, ube and banana, and let's see. Oh, some cakes. So whatever cake you want, I think Danny will get that for you and some healthy carrot and walnut. And then now we have more desserts. This is looking quite amazing because we have cannolis. Exactly what I was thinking. <laughs> Best European they have, really good. Oh, all right, definitely gotta go for a cannoli. So this is a big mountain and I think we'll go for one or maybe two. And then we have some more and that looks pretty good. Next to the jello, we have I think this is some type of pudding. Blackberry, I think some sago right over here. And then a little chocolate tort. And I think these are Mexican wedding cookies or Italian wedding cookies. Fortunately, they don't have the sign, so I'm guessing go for one of these. And of course, how can one turn down a tiramisu? On its end, a little bit of brownies, a little bit of cookies, and an Oreo pudding. And we have more, a little bit of jello, creme brulee, some cookies, chocolate pudding. But I think we'll end it with a strawberry shortcake. So a bit of a light dessert round. And uh, I think uh, this is all I can handle and I needed to come back quick because the ice cream was melting and Danny was uh, 
kind enough to get me to try some of the banana ice cream. But let's try the uve first. Nice and cold. Mm. Very cold, but very good. Really enjoying the ube. Nice and floral and nutty and earthy. Mm. Let's give the banana ice cream a try. Danny was right. It does taste like a banana split. And uh, unfortunately, banana is not my favorite thing. Just the, uh, the taste, the smell, and the aroma. And I think I need something to cleanse the palate. Maybe a cup of coffee, and here it comes. Thank you. The Wendy couldn't have come at a better time. A little bit of cream. Mm. Oh, very nice. Nice cup of coffee, and continuing on with the coffee theme, let's try the tiramisu. That is tucked away right over there. What a wonderful Italian dessert. And speaking of Italian, let's go for the cannoli. Oh. They do a nice job. Crispy shell, mascarpone, wonderful orange floral notes. A two biter, a two big biter, and finally something refreshing. I think this is a strawberry shortcake. A little harder than it seems. There we go. Mm. Nice and creamy. So, this is the Palms uh, Ace Buffet, All You Can Eat Buffet. Again, I've been here before, but not for the lobster uh, special that they have here. And again, it's on Wednesdays and Thursdays. So, pretty nice to know. And uh, it is a bit of a wait. I've uh, been here from 10. Uh, and then a two hour lineup. We got the tickets and then another uh, couple of hours lineup. But think of it as the experience, the total experience where you get to meet the great people here and uh, got to meet a lot of new friends and uh, some really helpful friends as well. So thank you so much for joining. I know it's a, a long uh, buffet and a wonderfully long buffet. So uh, let me see a little bit of coffee just to finish off the evening. And until we see each other again, I hope you're keeping well. I hope you're traveling well, and I hope you're eating well. All the best to you and yours. Take care and God bless. Cheers. Very good. And busy.